respectively. Throughout the years, Lil Rick has collaborated with the likes of Sofa Diva Allison Hines, Edwin Yearwood, Kian and Mad, together with Trinidadian soca stars Mashal Montana and Iwa George. On any given day, Rick would be playing music like it was a fat ice house. And when he moved to Burnham's Hill, it was the same thing. I would have to say that his mother and his sister were very, very patient. The music just used to be licking down wherever Rick lived. He has evolved and evolved. Yeah, sounds like the youth. At a time when the young people in Barbados were so unstable, Little Rick put together one of our greatest songs yet. How do you get so? You know, I thought I had the history, but I listened to several of the speakers before me, and they know the history of this man. We've DJed together, we've rivaled, we've friended together, we've worked together all over the place. Nobody can tell me of little Rick Stalin. And you always know when you're a champion, when other people emulate you. There was a time when all the DJs on the radio wanted to sound like little Rick. There's still a time when a lot of the DJs in the party still want to sound like Lil Rick. Now let me refer to Natalie. That song by Chalice, a song, was one of the classics of the 70s that Lil Rick brought back to the radio. And as soon as Lil Rick started to play that song, everybody started to play. But not only that, Nat, you forgot Jimmy Cliff. Remember Dear Mama and all the songs that Lil Rick would play? And I would, I would call DJs and ask them, we all don't know Jacob Miller? You all don't know nobody else? But Lil Rick was playing Jimmy Cliff, and people felt that if Lil Rick was playing Jimmy Cliff, well, I had to play Jimmy Cliff. Ladies and gentlemen, Lil Rick is not the average entertainer. He is not. He's not the average personality either. It is amazing to see this man sitting backstage, so quiet, not a word, simple smile. When he gets on stage, it was, it was diplomatically described by your headmaster, but when the Rick gets on stage, nobody can walk up worse than Rick. <laughs> Greatest city, you ready? Yeah! Let's hear it for one of the most outstanding and a very proud, distinguished graduate of the greatest city of the Girls and Girls. Three cheers for Larry Hibbert! I wasn't expecting this, I was asked to come to the school for something important and my heart is beating all now. <laughs> but, you know, I've been many places before and I've been a lot of places and did a lot of things, but this right here, this stands out to me, you know, this is very important to me. Usually, I have to go in a competition, I have to fight, I have to put in my all to get something like this. And I know it stands out because I know it's from the heart, you know, and I thank everybody at the Garrison Secondary School, no, Mr. Brittany City Secondary. I love you. <laughs> and everybody going to school at the Garrison. Just make some noise right now. You know, as, as I was saying earlier, that you don't have to go to school at the 
so-called big name schools. We can do it right here. And this school, we have some school girls. We have some secondary school. But we have believers and achievers. I want to tell you one more thing before I go. You want discipline in the with them. Don't let nobody push you or force you into nothing. Girls, keep your head on. Yeah. Take it down a minute. Take it down a minute. Don't party yet. Don't party yet. Don't party yet. Listen. Listen a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Listen. Girls, that have some big hard back men that will walk up to you and tell you that you are sexy and that you look good. And they want you. Keep your head on. Respect the teachers. Respect the parents. And strive for better. Give us a second every school. Let me go now. Let me go. Let me go. Hands up. Hands up. Thank <laughs> you. 